Um, I don't know. I'm, so if, if the definition of racism is holding power over someone else, is that, is that how you define it? It's, it's not how I define it. It's what is. Look at America's history. America, if you believe in like uh, coded, America says race. America is race. America's founded on racism. I didn't found America. I had nothing to do with America. It is what it is. I didn't create it. So there's, there's an interesting point that Richard Pryor makes about how when you first became friends, he said that he, he envied you in a way. What? Uh, in the book, you said that he felt envious of you in a way because you, you had no fear. Of well, no, I've never had it. I've never had it. That's since I was seven. I, I don't have it. That, that's, it's innate. That's, a, that's God in me. I have nothing to do with it. People are stunned by things that come out of my mouth. I'm shocked. It comes from somewhere else. You're an open vessel? Yeah, it's just, no, it's, it's just, I'm surprised that things that come out of my mouth. I'm shocked. People are shocked, but I'm shocked too. But I like it. How do you get away with it? Easy. I told you I was free, white, and 21. That's how you get away with it. And when you realize that you're free, white, and 21, you'll get away with it. That's an old Southern expression. And it says everything. It really does. Okay. I'm, I'm curious. Does this make sense to you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it makes a lot of sense. And it makes a lot of sense to you, too. I understand. I understand what you're saying. I'm just thinking in terms of like, like the boys said. I mean, if, if that was a hundred years ago, we're going to be dealing with race and that's going to be the issue. And seemingly, like you say, overtly, it seems that things have changed. Yeah, it, 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 not really. No, I'm writing a script now. Remember Rip Van Winkle? Remember? Mm -hmm. My Rip Van Winkle's black. He falls asleep. There's a man being lynched. He sleeps for a hundred years. He wakes up. A man's being lynched. Maybe when you see my film, you'll understand it more. You'll be better educated about it. Ain't nothing changed but the weather. You know, I told you tonight about the doll test. The girl had the doll test. Our kids say the same thing. That means that they're being brainwashed. The white doll is nice, it's pretty, and the black doll is bad and ugly. That's brainwashing. You know, that, that comes from that, what was that man's name? That, that Lynch, that Lynch man. Willie. That Willie Lynch, that, that's the Willie Lynch syndrome. It's to brainwash us. Then they'll do it themselves. They must only love and trust us, not each other. Notice the difference in their skin color, their ages. And terrify their females. Our black females, our black women do things that came from slavery. They don't even know why they do it. Our black women slept with the white man. When you sleep with someone, they're very vulnerable. And the black woman found out how much he hates us. That's why she has a fear for the young black male. Women in a family will damn near make a black man a pimp. They protect us, they give it to us. They try to hold us as long as they can because they know once we get out there, because when we reach puberty, that sexual thing, that white man, they know how much that white man hates us and we're going to jail or we're gonna be murdered. And the black woman knows it. And she takes the female and she pushes her out there first, working jobs, everything, but not us. She holds us back psychologically. It comes from slavery. It's, it's they have a fear. They, terror, they terrorize the black woman. They tore the black man, they put horses, they tore our heads off. They did evil things so she could see it, so she could make her children behave. She has a fear. Yeah, Bell Hooks has a book that hmm? deals with that. Who? Bell Hooks. Oh, really? Yeah, she says that, you know, a lot of... How old is he? How old is Bill Hooks? Bell Hooks, she is older than me. She's probably in her 50s. Huh? She's probably in her 50s. Well, she's then a, she's been watching my show. They'll watch me and listen to me. I'm serious. I'm just curious, but I mean... It doesn't even matter. I've been doing... Listen, I've... I've been doing this for 41 years. I know Richard, you know, more than half of his life. I've been talking this, I've been on that front row, believe me, and they've been sitting there. I did this when it wasn't popular. I'm not, I'm not getting into people's cases, but I'm nobody's fool. 
I'm all, I have that soapbox. I have, I, I have a voice. And they listen. They get a lot of stuff from me. I've been out there. I was in Hollywood when <laughs> Richard and I kicked that door in. We didn't open it. We kicked it in. That's why this generation thinks that it's their birthright. We had to give up a lot for them to have what they have. I had to wait 40 minutes for my grits. This generation gets their grits in five minutes. They want stuff instantly now. They can't even wait to die. That's why they kill each other. No, you're going to die. Just wait for death. It's coming. Just wait. Be patient. Black is new white. It's funny. The bottom line is it's very, very funny. 